Hi, my name's Damora, and I'm going to be reading a piece that I've been asked by the higher beings to read to you today. I was actually um, listening to a reading by Liberland 1010, and um, which I would advise anybody to go and have a look at who's really on this spiritual path and realizing that we're in a kind of battle between light and dark right now because it's a very good reading. Um, but at a point, I'm, I'm, I wrote it down actually, it was point 44, 44 minutes in, 10 seconds, I was suddenly told to go and open the book um, that I channeled in 1990, around about 1991, 1992, which is all about our journey. And so I opened the page and, and then went back to listening to the rest of the video. And at the end, had a look to see, and it was so totally relevant to what was being talked to, uh, talked about. And um, I'm going to read this now. But um, many things have been happening for me. And, and you, you may notice that I have incense burning for the first time here whilst I'm doing this reading. And it's been a really interesting journey over the last six months because I'm not somebody who ever was interested in the dark side. I never had any interest in spells, black magic, all of that stuff. All I was interested in, um, and I had a rude awakening to this really, didn't I? And some of you will maybe remember that I've talked about this on one of the videos, I can't remember which one, just about my journey when I was suddenly, I was running a, a center for intuitive living. I was always into intuition and our higher powers and actually ran workshops, um, average human versus superhuman, 30 odd years ago because I was fascinated in it, in, in it and I was fascinated in the fact that I could heal that I'd been doing healing sessions with people with amazing results and all sorts of things like that um, incredible synchronicities so I never went into the dark side I didn't need to I had an amazing journey um, but recently I've been having a rude awakening on the other side of things. So I'm burning incense today to make sure the space is cleared here because we had in the last video I did talking about how um, my laptop um, was hacked and, and today I can't turn my laptop back on. This is a brand new laptop that I bought at Christmas because of everything crashing and all sorts of complications with a laptop that had been hacked many times. I get notified when somebody else is keying in to my site. And in the beginning, I thought, oh, well, they're just getting it wrong. I'm in a different part of Mexico, or they have a very wide span on, on where they locate you so they're notifying me and it's in the wrong venue but it wasn't it was in a in a park because I actually tracked it exactly I could do that with their notification and somebody was sitting in a park about um, I think it's an hour and a half away from where I am um, but then the notifications came in from um, four and a half hours away nearer to Mexico City um, and today, so at Christmas, when everything was crashing so bad and nothing working properly because it had been hacked in all sorts of different ways, I bought a new laptop and brought that back from England at Christmas. And this morning when I went in, I tried to get into my emails. Um, and I have learned, one thing I've learned, and I think this is correct, that I'm not high on the technology thing, see? So this is how they're getting to me, isn't it? Um, but when I went in, so I always shut down now. My daughter taught me that, that not to go to sleep, shut it completely down, which I've been doing. But I have accidentally the other day just rested it and it went to sleep because I had to get up to do something. And when I went back on, they told me that they were now detecting my location was somewhere else. So it, it's just crazy. But this morning I had put it to, to I'd shut it down completely. I have to get really used to what I'm, how I'm using words here because I didn't understand this before. So I've shut down the computer last night, went to bed, got up this morning, opened it up, 
also changed my password uh, and my pin number to thinking that must be it. Um, so I've just done a very unusual one now and um, put the new pin number in and went to go into my emails and I was told that they couldn't put me through because they were, they were detecting that somebody else was online. So it's all rather crazy. So this is me burning incense. And it's really fascinating, isn't it, how the universe shows us what we really need to be doing. Because um, I always grow a sage plant and uh, I love sage in, in all my vegan dishes. Um, and um, each year here... It, it, the sage doesn't last through the winter because it's a different species, I think, than we have in England. So it, what happens as it gets to that colder point, not really cold, but just getting a bit colder, the whole plant dries on the stem. I've had it happen two years running. So I have this plant that I think might come back to life if I bring it inside, which I've done, brought it under cover. But it never does, and it just stays dried. So I've just learned to chop the whole plant and keep that dried plant. So I have loads of sage, which was crazy, because until six months ago, I didn't really know why I had that amount of sage. But I know now, and I walk around um, saging everything, all the mirrors and everything, which I've learned from so many different people who do readings online. I didn't know any of this stuff. I didn't need to until recently and I am shocked at why I need to because this is about um, a contact I had which I would never have believed would have got into any of this stuff so there you go uh, we're surprised all the time aren't we we have ideas of what's happening um, and it can be very very different I hadn't actually seen this person for many decades but um I'm now going to go on to, um, with this lovely smell of incense, actually, it's quite nice burning this while I'm reading from the book. So this is the Book of Secrets, which is still available. And it's very, it's like um, in my description on all my videos, you'll see that it's a very um, interesting book to read because it's all all channeled information, but about our journeys into our future as we go ahead now. Um, and it's available for like Kindle devices and to download onto your computer or whatever um, from Amazon. And the link is in my description. Very cheap. I think it's like I did it for the cheapest you could charge, which was like two dollars, I think. But also the book is available, which is a very nice book to keep and very nice book to um, open just open spontaneously and see what the universe wants to say to you but this is what it wanted to say to us today so um and it starts just at, at, at a particular paragraph accordingly there will be much dissent dissent holds no loss only delay there will always be a choice to be made when you make your choice to become who you really are is up to you. Do not attempt to make this an Armageddon choice. It is not. The Armageddon is the attempt to perpetrate a useless misdemeanor upon the earth planes. When the earth planes are cleansed of the humanity who do not choose to align to their spiritual modes, then the earth herself will have gone through an Armageddon. Armageddon is only to be associated with the planet Earth, not her peoples. It is up to each and every one of you to make your own choices. We will ascend the earth on time. It does not affect the earth's passage if there are or are not people within her structure. That's a pretty amazing statement. This is the first time I've read this part for, for quite a while. Um, I'm just going to go on now because this is a very important message and, it, and it's totally in line. This is the amazing thing that I was just asked while I was listening to this Libra Land 1010 reading and then I was asked to go to my book and open it and then give this online as well. 
Very soon after the ascension of the planet will come the cleansing of the great oceans of descent. This descent is the descent of the peoples who have not chosen redemption. We cannot reclaim any of the souls who have, regardless of their position in society, refrained from proclaiming amnesty for the earth planet. It is this amnesty that has been proclaimed by those who will ascend. We do not have the power of obstructing any of these occurrences. It will be the way of the God force that will give your planet the prominence within the solar systems that she so deserves. You will have become more aware now that it is the planet that is important in this juncture in time, not the people that reside upon her. Each one of you has your own pathways to complete. These are separate from the pathway of the Earth planet. Each one of you will make these choices over the next period of time. You do not have a choice in making or not making a choice. The choice is yours, but you will begin to understand that complacency is indeed a choice, a choice of non-compatibility with your habitat. There are two pathways running side by side here, that of humanity and the planet Earth. Each pathway is different, but collides at certain points in time. Every individual has a different pathway. What you will become aware of is that there are many strands of humanity. Each strand bears slightly different coding. Each strand bears great fortitude of spirit, but in slightly different areas. These strands can come together to form a new race of people, multi-stranded society, each person standing alone, but as part of the one spirit, the one foundation, one being. My goodness, I'm getting so many shivers down my spine by reconnecting to these words that I channeled myself but don't remember exactly. The DNA codings of humanity are complex but are also simple. It is as if there are many different codings, but when each is slotted into its rightful position, then you will see the multi-stranded helix which will form the mainstream of the new society which is ordained to populate your Mother Earth. We cannot have a web of strands which are not compatible. This design is perfection itself. Each web of strands will interrelate and become interdependent. There is a faction of society that will maintain its independence. It is the faction known to you as star-seeded people. These people will only be used for the time of transition. After this, it will be their choice to become part of the new society inhabiting Earth or to indeed move on to new beginnings elsewhere. They have earned their further choices in preparing the way for the mass of society to awaken. Some of them will remain with the masters, sorry, some of them will remain with the masses to populate the new generations. Others will continue their journey through to the more expansive waves of evolution, which will spread out from the universal barriers as the whole of the cosmic system is lifted into the realms of grace. Oh my goodness, I should have said at the beginning that it is very good to just close your eyes and um, listen to the sound of my voice and not the words or try to understand it because it's a very powerful way of, of, of receiving this information from the divine, from the higher beings. Um, but this is a very special piece. Goodness me, um, it's really reconnected me in 
at a much higher level myself. I hope it's doing that for others. But some of you may not be used to receiving information like this. So I, if this was me and I was just beginning to hear channelings, I would go back and listen to it again because it's listening, not trying to understand. Don't do that because this is what it does when we listen on a higher level, which is just listening to the sound of the person's voice. And you'll understand all of this if you go to my um, playlist on Fast Track to Cosmic Consciousness, because it teaches you not only how to be in the now moment in the first video, but it goes on and it may be the second video that I start to talk about now using that now moment to um, be able to listen in a different way. But it's all on that um, playlist. Because what it's doing when we listen in a higher way in the now moment is it's actually um, awakening our blueprint. It's operating as a catalyst for us to hear again these higher ruminations, these higher um, expressions that the channeling uses. This information that we don't think about day to day because we're so immersed, you know, sometimes in our physical life. But this is where, and, and the Starseed Oracle card for today, which I've just loaded a little short, was on being earthed, but never forgetting that we are spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around, that we're humans who just dip into the spiritual. It has to turn around from that and be what the reality is, is we are huge spiritual beings with so much light and power and energy, an energy force to be reckoned with. So um, all of the things that they're giving me today are so profound and so in this now moment with our journey on now as things change dramatically because of the Pluto in Aquarius. Thank you for allowing me into your space today. And um, I would love it if you could subscribe. It doesn't cost you any money to do that. And it really helps me to bring this information to more people because the algorithm works on the subscription and the likes actually. It'd be wonderful if you could could give it a thumbs up if you actually feel this is relevant for you and that you can use this information and maybe more information. There are now over 200 videos um, that I've put up with all this um, profound information from the higher beings that I've received over a period of time. Um, and they're all on my um, channel now. So thank you again and have a great day.